Lara does say, you know what? She's all about getting him elected. Let's hear a clip from her. Here she is on Newsmax just last night talking with Eric over there. Uh, Rob, forgive me, Rob Schmidt, about how she would how she would be as the co-head of the RNC. So let's let's talk about the RNC. Um, your, your father-in-law has endorsed you to be a co-chair of, of uh, the committee. Um, we have big problems with fundraising, big problems with, I think, adapting to um, how I think the other side, you know, is intentionally now making elections less secure for their own benefit. But the problem is, is that if, if you don't join them in, in, in this sham they're trying to, to pull on us, we can't win. So, I, you know, I, I talk about what needs to change at the committee to make this party more competitive, because I think after 2022 with those midterms, when that went the way it did, as hated as Joe Biden was, I think we all realize we have a huge problem in the party. What needs to change? And, and, and if you get the job, what can you do? Yeah, well, listen, we need to be playing chess and not checkers, and, and that's exactly what we've been doing, unfortunately. And as you just pointed out, the Democrats have been playing a completely different game. We need to catch up, and we need to outdo them at that game. We better have, at the Republican National Committee, a ground game operation the likes of which this country has never seen. We better be doing voter registration in record numbers. We also better be doing legal ballot harvesting all across this country, because those are things the Democrats always outdo us on. And let's face it, Rob, we better start telling people to go vote early. We have this notion that it would be nice if we had one day of voting. I would love that. You yeah. would probably love that. We'd love to give people the day off of work, and we'd love to have paper ballots. We don't have it right now. So we need to bank enough votes going game. into Election Day that we aren't trying to play catch up that day. We know things happen. Look at what happened in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Here's what I can tell you. The RNC needs to be the leanest, most lethal political fighting machine we've ever seen in American history. That is the goal over the next nine and a half months. If I am elected to this position, I can assure you there will not be any more $70,000 or whatever exorbitant amount of money it was spent mm. on flowers. flowers. Every single penny will go to the number one and the only job of the RNC. That is electing Donald J. Trump as president of the United States and saving this country. We have no time to waste. We've got to yeah. get to work. We've got a lot of money to raise. And we need to ensure that every penny goes to those things that I just mentioned. Otherwise, you you're right, in perpetuity, the Democrats are gonna beat us. Yeah. Okay. So wow. She just she just laid it out. I mean, I'm sitting there going, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. She's absolutely right. That business about ground game, I'm sorry, I know everybody like is, oh, you know, it's not fair, it's not and no, it's not. And by the way, I'm astonished that we don't I mean, we, you know, you have all these ridiculous holidays, but you're not gonna give people the day off from work to go and vote. If people have jobs, I mean, how, how, there's a lot of families that can't actually get to the polls like that. So that is actually, frankly, disgusting with all the holidays that we get. We don't give people the day off. You should be able to, and you know, I'd love it if you could get like a receipt or something on your belt. We all want this. But the point is, there's a big distance between wanting it and actually having that happen. You're not going to take your bonga home. You're not going to say, okay, well, I'm not going to vote because I don't think, blah, blah. I don't even want to say that stuff because then we're full on Venezuela. That's what happens literally in Venezuela. I know this firsthand. Nobody thinks their vote matters. Then they, they have all this infighting among the opposition. And the next thing you know, Maduro's like, ha ha, ka I just won another, another election. So we can't be that way. We have to actually play the game that's in front of us and recognize where we want to go while still winning as we get there. So Lara, hats off to you, smart commentary. I just think that you're, you're going to need someone like Lara really delivering the message because she does it so phenomenally well, but she's only one person. So you need another person that's thinking big, 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 big picture. And you need somebody who's really obsessed with details and has that ground game. I mean, there's a lot of jobs. I guess whoever goes in can, can hire all their people, but we have work to do.